Have you heard about fasting and wondered what its medical benefits are? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how fasting supports optimal health, fasting versus starvation, medically supervised therapeutic fasting benefits, and my personal raw and real experience with water only fasting right after this. Greetings, Dr. K here. I believe it's easy to say the words, change your lifestyle habits, but you and I both know that it takes being in the right mindset to do so. On this channel, I talk about the strategies and mindsets that create the basis for health so you can create true inner confidence and build momentum to become your best, grittiest, healthiest version of yourself. If you're new here, I encourage you to consider subscribing. Consider this, the body's normal state is health. The body's meant to be in homeostasis. Consider chronic diseases then as our body's attempt to create homeostasis in conditions that don't support it. The body adapts to conditions that we put it in and we call these conditions obesity, type two diabetes, or any other diseases of lifestyle. What if we could create health simply by removing the obstacles to cure and allowing the body to return to homeostasis. Fasting helps us do just that. First, the question, is fasting the same as starvation? No. Fasting involves using the body's reserves of nutrients during periods of no food intake. Uh, even lean individuals have the capacity to store nutrients for extended periods of time. Starvation takes place after those reserves have been depleted, and clearly that is a dangerous state. The average non-overweight individual can fast for up to 40 days, but doing so absolutely requires trained medical supervision. I only bring this up to illustrate that a fairly healthy person can survive on just water for longer than we conventionally think in our modern world. But can we thrive on just water? Fasting promotes detoxification and improved organ function, sometimes lasting even beyond the duration of the fast. It's been shown to be beneficial for rheumatic diseases, chronic pain syndrome, hypertension, and metabolic syndrome, to name a few. Uh, the doctors at True North Health Center have written up many case reports and papers over the years, including an incredible story of a 42-year-old woman with stage 3A low-grade lymphoma who was treated with a 21-day water fast followed by a plant-only diet. I'll link to the articles on their website in the description below. Before I go further, please be smart. While an extensive study of water-only fasting cases in medically supervised settings demonstrated very low incidences of serious adverse events, and I've linked to that article below too, I want to remind you that these fasts were done in medically supervised settings. The effect of medications and supplements are potentiated in a fasting state, meaning they're more potent, and under medical supervision, these can be adjusted accordingly. Plus, pre-existing conditions play a major role as well. I do not recommend doing an extended water-only fast at your home with no medical supervision, so please be smart. It's easy to look at fasting as a therapeutic modality. If one is diagnosed with X, fasting may be indicated. This channel, however, is all about establishing the basis for health, and I look at fasting as a tool that perhaps we can use for ongoing maintenance and well-being to promote a longer, more healthful life. Now let's get raw and real. This is where I talk about my own experiences, both the raw, unfiltered dark side and the real, empowering bright side. Uh, I've gotten comments over the years like, oh, I don't know how you could fast for so many days. I can't even get past day one or two. Well, the truth is, I can't even count how many times I've tried to start a fast and caved after just a few hours later. See, while fasting does uh, improve cognitive function and reduce anxiety and depression, there is a certain level of mental health that needs to be in place to successfully complete a fast, especially to push through those first three days. The hunger pains are rough but the desire to eat emotionally has been the hardest thing for me to overcome. And the only times I've ever been successful pushing through it is 
when I had a clear purpose for why I was doing that fast and what was my desired outcome. And two, several days in advance, I started envisioning the upcoming fast. It's much easier for me to follow through on next Monday is day one than it is for me to say I'm starting tomorrow. Because when I say I'm starting tomorrow, I'm going to cave. And to fast appropriately, you need to take rest, not work. You have to relax and rejuvenate. If you can't step away from your daily stressors, fast, fasting can be rough. Also, the social element of it is not fun. Um, going at it alone is a pretty lonely feeling, especially when those around you are as supportive as they may be are partaking in food and eventually that wears off on you but after a few days you're all right but it's rough when you're feeling the self-pity now for the real the bright side if you're somebody who eats a nutrient-dense plant-rich diet free of the processed foods and the additives the typical hunger headaches and withdrawal symptoms early into the fasts are either muted or not present I've experienced that and it's surprising to me how every time I can feel great in that day one to day three transition period. There's also a time that I went into a fast without the best diet leading up to it and I felt all those symptoms. It's just further emotional evidence to myself to stay on the plant-based path when it's hard to do so. Uh, within a few days, the mental clarity that I've been able to experience on water fast is absolutely unparalleled. And I'm talking about ideas flowing left and right, inspiration for recipes, business ideas. Several days in, the hunger is a thing of the past and being around others' food is not even an issue. So people worry about having low energy on a fast, but the truth is that I have had some life-changing revelations because of that high energy state deep into a fast. I've noticed my skin clear and people have pointed out my glow as well. It begins to remove the obstacles to cure both mental and physical and it's truly rejuvenating experience with long lasting benefits. My question for you, have you fasted before in any capacity and what was your experience like emotionally and physically? I want to know. So let me know in the comments below and let's have a conversation. Be sure to check out some of my other videos linked here in the cards. And until next time, in case anyone hasn't told you today, I am proud of you. I believe in your greatness. Go forth and elevate your life.